by plane for the next two innings by broadcast partner, Mike Sager. All right, thank you, Stu. This will be pitch number 63 for Wilkie tonight. And it swung on and fouled back. Jackson flying to center in his first at bat tonight. Drew hitting 220 coming into play. He was originally a fifth round pick in the Seattle Mariners. After going to college at uh, Stanford, traded to the Dodgers in March of 2017. And he takes the ball upstairs. So it's now one ball and a strike. Jackson against the missions this year, four hits in 15 at bats. He actually started this year with the Orioles as he takes high, and it's two balls and a strike. He was selected by the Phillies this past December in the Major League Rule 5 draft. They then immediately traded him to Baltimore in exchange for international slot money. He went to spring training with the O's, led the team in batting and hits in the Grapefruit League as he takes a strike two and two. Started the year with uh, Baltimore, appeared in three games, went 0 for 3, and then eventually was uh, offered back to the uh, Dodgers. This one is bounced to first base. Tyler Austin stays with it. Looked like it took a little bit of a tricky hop there at the last minute, but the out is recorded. So we have one gone in inning five, and here is Daniel Corsino, who sacrificed in the third inning tonight. Well, it is still 2-1 to one in favor of Round Rock. And that game is right now in the top of inning six. Brandon Belak, the starting pitcher for the Express, five innings, two hits, one run, a walk, and six strikeouts. And the only run was Eddie Alvarez steal of home. As a strike is called on Corsino. So we will certainly keep uh, monitoring uh, that game for you tonight. Corsino with a ball hit just to the right of the plate. That's going to be a fair ball, and Tuffy Gosowicz quickly pounces on it, tags out Corsino, who never left the batter's box. So two outs here in inning five, and here is Gavin Lux. Lux, who has struck out and grounded out tonight. Travis Barber, you know, the, as much damage as Lux has done since coming up from AA, his manager, Travis Barber, he kind of compared his presence in the lineup to that of Jordan Alvarez when he was uh, laying waste to the PCL and now doing the same in the majors. The first one is upstairs, 1-0. And, oh. and uh, Dodgers president of baseball operations, Andrew Friedman, said of uh, Lux that he has a maturity in the batter's box that he doesn't think he's ever seen from someone his age. He's only 21. And a strike is called, so it's now one ball and a strike. Playing second base, a shortstop by trade, but uh, he's been playing some second base. Said it was a mutual decision between he and the organization. Of course, you got Corey Seager, the Dodgers shortstop, who figures to be there for the foreseeable future. There's a check swing line drive into the bullpen and a Nice catch down there by, I believe that was Jake Perea who made that catch, yeah? Serving as the bodyguard for Perdomo. I'll never forget when we saw Corey back in April of 2015 and he just talked to me. He knew it wasn't going to be long before he got yeah. the call. You know, Lux was the Dodgers' first round pick with three years ago. In the second round of that draft, they selected catcher Will Smith as the pitch almost foul back. Of course, Will Smith who at the time, coming out of Louisville, was known more as a catch-and-throw guy. I think he only hit about 250 the first couple of years in the pros, but he uh, tweaked his uh, swing, made some adjustments, turned himself into a big-time power hitter, and he is uh, off to a great start in his young career since going up permanently to Los Angeles to take over for Austin Barnes. And Lux pulls one deep to right field. Is it going to stay fair? No. That thing, a line drive that went off the wall, just missed the foul pole. So he will head back with a count of one ball and two strikes. Yeah, but uh, invited to big league camp and wound up making a bad throw very early. Might have been his first spring training game in the Cactus League and suddenly developed a case of the yips. And it got pretty bad there, but the uh, Dodgers worked with them. And eventually what he said is instead of, you know, 
when he would get to the point where he would try to baby his throws, he said, what ended up working is I just decided I'm going to let it rip. Every time I pick the ball up, throw it as hard to whatever base, or throw the ball to whatever base as hard as I can. Don't even think about it. And the yips uh, kind of went away as the pitch misses, and it's now 2-2. Two and two. And I remember Steve Sachs, did well. Steve Sachs had it for a while with the Dodgers in the 80s, and I think Chuck Knobloch had the same thing. 2-2 pitch, broken bat, fly ball down the right side. That'll head into the stands, and Lux will head back to the dugout to get a new stick. Count remains 2-2 two and two with two outs. This is on top here, 3-0 in the fifth inning tonight. Good job by Wilkerson to saw off Lux on that last pitch. Jack McKinstry on deck if Gavin can reach. His uncle, Augie Schmidt, was a highly heralded uh, shortstop at the University of New Orleans who was a, a second over, he was a second overall pick in the 1982 draft by Toronto right before he turned 21. Sean Dunstan was the first player picked that year. And Lux pops this up on the left side of the infield, the wind pushing it into the bullpen. Travis Shaw, though, will make the catch. Well, that'll do it for the Dodgers. That might be the end of the night for Wilkerson. Aaron very sharp. He survived a knock. Support to close it out.